My name is Tom Raffi. This is Gar Laboratories. We manufacture hair care and skin care products for mass market. We're hired to make products for multinational corporations and so we'll make the hair care or skin care products for them and we develop them here. We use the chemistry to, to develop the artistic ends you want for feel or texture or fragrance and you have to use chemistry to achieve that end so you have a nice consistent product. And many times we'll ask developmental people, typically salon owners or hairdressers, what is it you like? Well, I like this certain product for for, for feel, and this product for smell, and this product for, for texture, and we'll combine all three of those aesthetics into one product so we can develop different samples over time to get the feel and texture they want and performance they want. And it's a fun way to make a living, to make things that are smell good, feel good, they're fun to use, and everybody gets a kick out of using them. Where water is a big part of cosmetics, and the water we use here is purified water. You see, what is purified water? Purified water is water you've taken 99% of the minerals out of and 100% of the bacteria out of. It's just super clean water. And we do that through deionization, where we attract the minerals and through deionization and, and take all the minerals out. Then we sterilize the water, then we use the water, then we manufacture the cream with the lotion. But the, the tanks that are mixed in they have to be clean. We'll take those and rinse them down and, and take the lotions that were in the tanks and they go down the drain. But we do here at GARS, we have a clarification system that separates the oils from the water. So the wastewater that leaves GAR is just the water portion, not the oil portion. And we now have not one, but two clarifiers. So we can really doubly clarify the the wastewater leaving GAR so we get the most amount of waste oil out of the water before we give it back to the city and that way it's very responsible. We use very little water because we're using deionization that saves water and we're giving back the cleanest water we give back to the city. So it really is a very responsible way of you know, being a responsible manufacturer in Riverside. We have five buildings on our campus, but the main building that we're in right now, it does all the high energy usage from manufacturing, filling, capping, coating, cartoning. That's done in this building. The other buildings are strictly warehousing, so the electricity bill on that is not very much. Well, and, and uh, it's about 2010, 2011, uh, Gar Labs was looking into solar energy, and the city came up with a wonderful rebate program for industrial rebates, and they're very generous at the time. And Gar Labs in 2011 took advantage of that and put a 100,000 watt solar system in uh, that the city gave us a wonderful rebate on. Then in 2000. They came up with another rebate program, continue the same rebate. We put a second system up on another building. And in 2013, they continued the rebate program. In 2013, we finished a third solar system. This gave us a total of 165,000 watts of solar for GAR, now saving us up to $7,000 a month in electricity, depending on the sun shining. And uh, it's been very good. So that helped us generate electricity and we've done some other additional steps to save electricity. We've used low energy lighting, T5 fluorescent lighting, throughout the entire buildings and the warehouses. And we've made all those lights motion activated so that they go off when no one's around. It saves huge amounts of money. Also, we just put motion activated outdoor lighting. So again, when you come up to the factory at night, it'll be all dark, but when you come on, on the site, it, it actually comes on. So that saved us even more electricity. So for all the lights in the building, indoor and outdoors, being motion activated, the solar uh, energy from the sun during the day, saving 7,000 watts. And then on some other ancillary things, we put surge protectors for the building to stop any destructive surges going through the building that could kill computers or speed controllers. Uh, and we've also put what they call a counter harmonic generator in case the electricity gets these destructive harmonics that happen with speed controllers. We put a counter harmonic generator that actually cleans up the electricity. So we're generating electricity during the day, saving electricity with motion activation, and cleaning up electricity. So overall, we're saving $7,000 a month worth of electricity. It's been wonderful for the city. This all started years ago working with the City of Riverside's uh, Public Utilities Department. Uh, they're probably the most cooperative, knowledgeable, solution-oriented public utilities that I can imagine. They come to you again, whether, whether it's 2010 or 11, with a solar energy plan and, as I say, putting their money where their mouth is, giving rebates to, to spur the process on, giving any kind of help you want, and all the departments surrounding them. 
help them so they're not stranded and working on their own. And any questions you want, they're very friendly. They're about what they want to help you with, with any energy ideas. They give key session seminars to big users to help people with ideas of how to save energy. I mean, they're really solution-oriented. I, I can't say enough about them. All the energy thing, savings that I've done here at GAR are not new technology, solar panels, um, motion activated lighting, all the time management, energy management, uh, this is what I put in place, you can do on a small level at any home, anywhere. And it can be done, and it's, it's, it's easy, and the city will help you to get you to be energy efficient. And it's not big dollar stuff, you can do just little things along the way, even just having lights that go automatically off, because anything I do here can be done by anybody else in, in a smaller way.